Hello, buddy. How's it doing, thing? Uh, I'm playing a new game, PlayStation One. Yes, it's on an emulator. That being said, I do own the actual copy. Okay. Played it as a child. It's one of my favorite games as a kid. It's kind of cute, but it's very hardcore tactic-wise. So it's pretty much a hard game. I know turn-based tactic games are not really the fave of people on YouTube, but I like it. God, you got that opening. Very anime-esque. By the way, this is the second attempt of recording. I had a failure. I don't know what caused it. So I just went through re watching this. I still love it. Stand to the eternal mm. It's very random, this opening is, but it looks like an opening for a good anime. Like, I, I keep expecting people's names to show up, like, directed by, voiced by, you know, stuff like that. But, uh, this game, again, is Game of Eternal Lions. Uh, I played it as a kid in my first games on the PlayStation 1, which was my first gaming system. Uh, I have very fond memories of it. I don't know how I almost beat it as a kid. I almost beat it as a kid. <laughs> and I mean, like, a little kid. I don't know how I got so far into it. When I got older, I tried to play it, and I nearly gave up because I couldn't get as far as I could as a kid. Then I just realized something. I was overthinking it. Uh, you'll see what I mean. This game's very easy to play, but if you try to overthink it, you'll get your butt kicked. Alright, so we're going to start. Uh, do know this video is not going to be more than 15 minutes long. Personal choice on that. Okay? I don't want the video to be too long. Uh, I will also read out the dialogue. I'm not doing voices for this. My voice hurts. I might do them on later vids, but not this one. Well, that's a totally fair fight. <laughs> Is the seal weakening? Polaris, what have you done? Why? Why are you looking at me? That's not what I'd expect from the hero of the War of the Goddess. Christian Illusion, is that Luna? Is that what you want? What do you intend to do then? Why can't someone like you discard desire, the desire for power? Yeah. Desire for power, eh? That is something Balzar the hero will never understand. If what you do is going to bring dark destruction to the world, I desire no knowledge of it. Kill you! I, I, I think there might have been a translation error there. This is a Japanese game. No! Because all of a sudden saying kill you there just seems weird. Oh, well, some hero died. So this is the Soul Reaper, nice scent of blood. Lord Volus. Now we can resurrect the goddess? No, there's still something. This ring is. Must be the ring of domination, forged by the red eye tribe. Was this to something the deity? Was it to the deity's oracle? There is happening according to the goddess's word. The goddess came to me in my dreams, whispering, Let's renew history. You alone, Volrus, are our master. Well, let us leave that for now. Let us see what the power of this ring does for a start. Let the vermin of Ga of Graus understand it, that it is already too late to take action. Sorry, I couldn't help it. I think it's actually pronounced Gross, so I'll go with that for now. That was on. Died, did he? This is a thought. Polis has been bewitched by the goddess of destruction. Believe things like this, it will be like the war of the goddess all over again. Now we have to do something for it is too late. Nice sword. When the king just will always walk around with a giant sword in his hand. In the name of the king! Kill for us for he resurrects the goddess! Says the guy with no head. Look at that visor, it's empty. That guy, that guy just floating. ba dip ba dip ba dip Come, have you? I'll show you fools the power of our goddess Luna. So a flash of light and what's that light? Arg! So he's a pirate. So the power of the Volra of the goddess is to cause explosions.
Chapter 1. Setting out. As long as I ain't selling out, okay? I'm not a sellout. You'll never hear me say this episode brought to you by yada yada yada. Unless I actually agree with the product. Just as I thought, it definitely must be this cave. Come on, let's go. Wow, that face. What? But this is the place we always used to come when we were kids. I should never have relied on your information. Are you saying that my information is wrong? Yes, yes, exactly what you said. Judging from past experience, unfortunately there is a less than 17% chance that the mushroom grows here. Wow, this kid... Great, a nurse accepted. This guy literally did the math. Calm down, even if it's less than 17%, it's still worth a try. <laughs> Especially as it's an important ingredient in a fast-acting health potion. It's a chance to the greatest chemist in Gross shouldn't miss. I do have a great interest in it myself, in fact, since I've never actually seen the real thing. That girl spends five hours brushing her hair in the morning. You know what she does. Oh, a random box. Let us find out what's in it. Let's push your chest. What's in it? What's in it? I don't know what it is, so I'm opening it up. Make sure it's safe first. Girl, stop! No! And they're all dead. Congratulations, game's over. Okay, that chest was not that big. But, but, I wanted to open it. So what's in it? Marbles. Lots of them, too. Hang on. There's one which is different from the rest. That one's shining really brightly. But I wonder. Back old memories. Hold on, that's, even if, it, if you don't count the marbles, there was a mar, there was a pearl necklace, a crown, there was a giant crested jewel sword. Do you recognize that stone? No, not to my knowledge. But, the more I look at it, the more mysterious it seems. Okay, no, no. Why aren't y'all talking about the sword? That was a cool looking sword. Luke, how about a word of apology? What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? So you don't feel at all sorry for doubting my information? Ah, shit. And everyone's dead. Earth's something shot. Come on, let's go. No one says anything. If you hear a bang, you just run for it. Caught. You alright, Lena? What on earth happened? Actually, I think it might have been my fault. I was fiddling around with the stone and suddenly there was an explosion. Quit playing with the rocks. And it's covered a passage. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna go see what's down there. Let's go see what's down there. Come on. What's been hiding behind the shop that I'm assuming is y'all's? A map. Uh, looks like some dolls. This be a treasure map from the time of the ancient rulers of this continent. You sure? It's hard to tell, but I'm quite sure it is. Written in an archaic language. I don't understand the grammar, but you can see it's very old just by looking at the paper. Ancient treasure. Look here, there's a mark around the goondocks. Is. A real treasure hunt! Now we're talking, let's get some money. Right then. Tomorrow the adventure starts. Need the preparation to us. Sure. Okay, I'm trying to get past all this so we can actually get the gameplay. I know it's a lot of exposition. Who would have known that there was a chamber here in this house? What is it for? Uh, looks like it's for collecting dolls. Because there were dolls. Creepy little dolls. No one's anything but dolls. Frost Kingdom. Let's see what we got here. Can I move? I can move. Uh, okay, so I can't run. Well, I can, but I think I'd have to take two hands, and then I block camera a little bit. Oh, well. That works. What do we got? Hmm. That looks like something. Uh, can I go in? Basic <sighs> on its exactness. General store. Oh right, yes, I'd like one general, please. I'd like to buy your general. Hello, I've got lots of things here. That doesn't sound like, it, like she's trying to sell something. There's no need for a good sword and a good armor if you ain't got a good weapon. Okay, it says I ain't got any of these. Okay, that's how you buy. Uh, 
I don't know, what weapon? Uh, sword's too, so cliche. I think I'll go with a spear. Yes. Eh, yeah, I got a little bit more money left. Let's get some protective gear. I guess that means armor. Uh, all they got is chest armor. Okay. Well, all I got enough for is a tunic. So, I'm guessing he's gonna put a shirt on. That'll work. Uh, which part was the menu again? Ah. Nope. Uh, I think I might be outside to do it. Let's try this outside! Chapter 1, setting out. Oh, I can quick travel! I think that's where he said to go. He said Gundots, right? I think so. If I'm wrong, tell me. Here, I'm probably just to find out. According to this map, there's a building straight ahead. Come on, then. Ooh! I, I'm not gonna lie, that, that may be dark and mysterious, but I like that image. This is the one. This one looks rather haunted. Oh, great, I'm that fight ghost. Or the dwarves has something like that. That's the only kind of thing they tell kids, right? Come on, you're not scared, are you? What is it with kids? Look, I'm gonna check for you. Stay here. Okay, you look younger than the rest. Nicole, not on your own. Stangers, come back. Um, you two, wait. So wait, did I get left behind? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, this is where you can set up for battle. I remember this. Uh... I want a spare. And for protective gear. I want my shirt on. Put my shirt on. Alright. And. Hopefully we haven't gone too long. Uh. Alright, this is going to be a first fight. Goondog's Port, Basement 1. First level of fight. Uh, you have to forgive me, I am a little blessy. So, I can't see anybody any longer. My sister and ours are always like this. Why is it? Wow, wow, it's a monster. Can I go by myself? Uh, yeah, you can, because we're going to go kick some ass. Alright, character information for me is on the bottom left. Uh, basic stuff, movement, attack, jewels. I'll explain later, because I'm, I'm going to need a refresher. Go at the nearest guy. It looks like it's that pink guy. Let's see what they got. I'm completely outnumbered here, but I think I can handle it. I don't think they'd send me up against something, you know, super powered right off the on the first, you know, wave of combat. Hmm, he smacked me. I'm about to show how I smacked back with a whack jack set. D don't, don't ask. Alright, I can't remember your name, but let's go for it. Right beside you, little bitch. Oh, well, I got range. Mmm, not enough to kill, though. Oh, yeah, you gain experience not by end of battle, but by performing actions in battle. That's always something I thought was pretty neat, because your character can level up mid-game. You know, right in the middle of the fight, your character... It makes more sense of... Oh, shit. Magic! He burnt my butt. My biscuits are burning. Okay, now I know I ain't gonna be right up on him. I'm not gonna be right up on him. Mm -mm. Hey, big boy. Let me hold a dollar. Cool. Just church chest. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. So real quickly, you can cl they collect all at the end of the battle. Spinner wants to play this. If I'm wrong. I'll get it right next time. So real quickly, those treasure chests are really important. 
Don't you dare. Oh, you gotta be so cruel. Yeah, that's uh, 23 damage I've taken so far. I hope, uh, I better check my HP actually. Oh, I'm fine. I got this. I eat punks like you for breakfast. You say you like it. I'm gonna stab you in the head. Woo! Ah, oh, didn't kill him. That's okay. I'll get you next turn. I'll catch you on the flip side. I don't trust him coming around like that. That's why you better run, you little fluff. I don't trust these sludges. Uh, that close. She's an auto aim. That's alright. That'll kill him. Poof. You smoke, bitch. This is a smoking section. I do realize the camera does block a small portion of the screen. I hope it does not offend you, y'all. Oh, now he's coming back around. He's scared. That's right. You better back up. I'm about to do a drive-by on your friend. I'm gonna go right by him. It's a drive-by spearing. Eat my spear, bitch. Oh. They don't get much XP. I was kind of hoping to get a level. I want a level. I'd like to level. Oh, smack. I got smacked by a mud pie. I think I scare you. Bitch, I eat you for breakfast. Yeah, petite. Hey, bitch. My beautiful fiance seems like she's wanting to make an appearance. Let's call her over. Come here, my beautiful fiance. Oh, y'all didn't see that. My phone is definitely not dying. I bet I have enough to make it to the end of the video, though. If not, well, I'm sorry, guys. Say hello, darling. Hi. She says hi. Alright, last one. Really? Okay, that was weird. So that's alright. I'll get him next turn. Oh, he's coming right for me. See this? Oh, my pie don't know what's good for him. Hold on, guys. Reposition him. Okay. Alright, let's cut up this little fucker. Do my language, kids. Kill him like a bitch. No, oh, I didn't kill him. That's alright. I got all the turns in the world. He ain't gonna kill me. He ain't got nothing to die, guys. Steady. Man, you tickled my toe. That's all you did. How bad? You want some? I want to smack you with my shirt. Because I got my shirt on. Bam. Good, good. I got to get him. Okay, I got a wooden sword. Yeah, that's really useful. Got another wooden sword because, you know, two's always better than one. Got three wooden swords because I'm Zoro. And a rice ball. That's racist. Oh, they get XP. Okay. And, and Mike has the money. Alright, guys. That's it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll catch y'all next time on the next episode of...